and it's time for a shoe unboxing. You guys, a Jeffrey Campbell shoe unboxing. When is the last time I made a video like this? I feel like this shoe box, have we not seen this before? I almost feel like this is an OG shoe box design. You guys, this is taking me back. How many Jeffrey Campbell shoe unboxings did I use to do per month? I feel like I did reviews even about the smell of the shoes, the shoe box. We talked about it all. So I am so grateful because Jeffrey Campbell actually reached out to me on Instagram and they offered for me to pick out any pair of Jeffrey Campbell shoes. It's not sponsored, but this is like PR gifting, uh, but they let me pick out any pair I wanted. And y'all, I have honestly had my eye on so many styles over the past couple of months. I feel like fashion is kind of starting to dip back into, many people are trying to make like indie sleaze kind of rehappen, but I feel like we are definitely starting to see some of those early 2010s fashion inspirations again. That being said, Jeffrey Campbell recently did like a small capsule re-release of some of those classic 2010 styles, including Jeffrey Campbell Litas. I think they even had the spiked Litas as well as the spiked Nightwalk. Y'all, these are still shoes that I wear today that I have treasured in my collection that still look nearly brand new after all of these years. So I feel like if anything, like that attests to the quality of Jeffrey Campbell shoes. I feel like I used to say that all the time, like these shoes will last me a lifetime. Now they have proven they will last me a lifetime. I have honestly worn those so much, um, but in my humble opinion, they still look amazing. I still wear them. So the style that I picked today, you guys, I wanted to pick something a little bit different. I feel like I always gravitate towards black platform shoes over and over and over again. Oh, they've got a different shaped heel. They've got a spike on them. They've got like some kind of embellishment, okay? You could sell me a black spiked platform, spiked platform, but like a black platform shoe over and over and over and over again. If you looked inside my closet, you would be able to tell. If you followed my shoe content, if you follow my daily Snapchat, I usually do a shoe of the day over there. Many black platform shoes have been shown. So I really kind of wanted to go out of the box. I wanted to get something quite different in my wardrobe, something that I, um, don't have like a different version of already. The style name got me. Okay, you guys, they're called the Graveyard. Not spelt with a three, but Graveyard. They had these in two different colorways. One was a brown, and I'm pretty sure the platform portion of it was like a darker brown than this. And then they had this, which I'm pretty sure was called Ivory. And it is a beautiful patent leather. I really should not have probably already filmed the shoe portion, but I did. So I unwrapped them and y'all, there is just something about Jeffrey Campbell's shoes. I know how weird this is gonna say, sound. They smell amazing. And maybe it's just because I love collecting shoes so much, but they sincerely, like there is just a Jeffrey Campbell smell. It's a magical scent. But they came very nicely wrapped up in these dust bags. I had these protectors. They were stuffed with paper, deluxe paper, uh, to keep the shape of the shoe. And um, honestly, I was just a smidge nervous when I asked for these in size seven, because way back in the day, I feel like when I first started collecting Jeffrey Campbell shoes, I did usually used to take a size seven and a half. I swear over the years, my foot has shrank. I didn't even know that that was possible, but in every brand of shoe now for many, many years, I have worn a size seven and these are a size seven. I was just kind of worried, like, would it feel like difficult to get my foot in and out of these? Because as you guys can see, they are a very tall platform boot, but they're just a slip on 
a slip-on shoe. They don't have zippers, they don't have laces or anything like that, but these are literally the perfect size. I feel like they're roomy enough here in the top so that you can slip them on and off, but whatever size you are, I feel like these do run true to size because the actual shoe fit was perfect for me. And I've always said this, but I feel like Jeffrey Campbell platform heels are some of the easiest platforms to walk in. I don't know if it's like these grip kind of textures that they very often have. I don't I don't know what it is about it, but anytime I used to do events and wear Jeffrey Campbell shoes, like I could literally comfortably wear them for hours and hours and hours on end. Like I will never forget my first trip to LA. Like I had so many things to do in one day. Like we went from like IMATs to like, I think it was clothes and counters, meet and greet. Like this is all a big flashback, but like I was able to wear the same Jeffrey Campbell shoes all day long, like 12 hours of standing on my feet in activities, never stumbled once, never felt like I had to take my shoes off once. So, you know, just speaking to the history of the comfort that I've had with this brand. Also, you guys, this is a leather shoe, which, that has become more and more important to me over the years, just because I feel like it's such higher quality, so much more sustainable to have shoes like this that are truly made of high quality materials that will last you a lifetime. And then they could be passed on or you could, you know, resell them or something to somebody else. What I'm just saying is it's not a product that I feel like is disintegrating in my closet. And that's the sad reality for a lot of shoes that I own. I feel like it's getting harder and harder to like keep the ones that are not made of like leather because y'all, even though they are sitting on a shelf in our closet, they are falling apart on the shelf. It's honestly so sad. It just makes me upset because I feel like the ones like my, you know, from my Jeffrey Campbell collection, like I'm still able to wear those more than 10 years later, 10 years later. If I wanted to or I needed to, I could even take them to be resold, repaired. Like when they're made out of high quality materials, you can do that. My Unif Hellraisers, for instance, I have worn so many pairs of those to the ground to where my heel was sticking out of the sole of the shoe. And then you just take them to be resold and you can keep wearing them. To me, that's just a much more like good and sustainable choice versus like these faux leather products that I love that I stylistically would continue to wear, but they are literally falling apart as I wear them. So, you know, there's that. So you guys, like I said, I did already wear these once. I got these like last Thursday and I was just beyond excited to get these in the mail. I could not wait. I unwrapped them immediately. I put them on and I stomped around town. It's also like quite the perfect timing because it is rodeo season here in Houston. So I'm like, I feel like these are very Texas, very rodeo season, but I love them. And I love the fact that this is really making me think of different types of outfits that I can put with these. <laughs> it's so funny too, because like I am such a shoe person. But I feel like a lot of times, like I put the outfit together first and then I pick a pair of shoes because once again, I feel like, you know, like usually a black chunky platform shoe goes with everything. But I feel like these are gonna be such a fun style, not really like a challenge, but I wanna build an outfit where these shoes are the focal point. So stay tuned because I actually wanna start kind of posting on Instagram again. I know, shocking. So I think I'm gonna do like a full like outfit of the day. Maybe I'll take some pictures. Maybe I'll post an outfit of the day video here. You never know what I might do. Uh, but I, I definitely wanna like put together a whole outfit, celebrate my little graveyard boots. So you guys, all that's left is the little stompy, stompy, walky bits. So sippy, sippy, let's jump to that clip. Literally jump.
for today, you guys. When was the last time I did a shoe unboxing? Probably the rat shoes. I think that that was in January, but those were kind of silly. I feel like those were like more of a joke, like a haha. -ha. These are like serious fashion shoes. So once again, a huge thank you to Jeffrey Campbell for letting me pick out a shoe treat. That really honestly meant a lot because I have so many Jeffrey Campbell shoes that I've been collecting over the years. They are absolutely some of my favorite shoes of all time. So yeah, these are very, very, special. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swap family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!